This is a video tutorial on how to uh, go about creating a group and uh, adding the group to groupings so that we can uh, keep them separate from the rest of the class. In this case, it's the high flyers. So I, you don't have to do this, uh, but I did it for my own convenience. I created a tab for the high flyers so that um, I can focus better. And um, this is it. Okay, they have their own syllabi. Okay, right here, that's their syllabus. And um, here is uh, a group that I also created for them. And these are the quizzes. Okay, so uh, let's start from the beginning. First of all, you go into your course settings. Okay, so. Let's do that now first by going into Courses. Okay, so this is uh, the course settings, and I'm going to scroll down until I get to Groups. Okay, so uh, here we are. I've already done this part of it, so uh, let me show you. There is the Group Mode. And there are two options. You can learn about them by going to the question mark. You're not going to force your group mode. It'll just complicate things. But you will get a default grouping, which really helps you okay, in organizing this whole thing. So let me show you uh, what's available for the default grouping. And this has been done for you. Notice there's exemption students for semester two, so you click on that. And then you're going to go into separate, notice no groups. If you go into the question mark, it'll explain what no groups is separate groups. Each group member can see their own group. Others are invisible. Okay, and then the visible means that. But you can uh, create groups later on for the projects. Okay, so that's it. And then you simply go down and save the changes okay, of your course settings. Okay, so that's, that's done. Next, you're going to go back into your area here. I notice that um, I also had a subscription, as I mentioned before, only for them. So you can do that by having a support form just for them, and they are forced subscribers. Okay, so let's go on to the uh, quizzes. So I'm gonna go into each of these so you can see what's happening, and notice that right now it's semester B, and that's not what we want it to be. So I'm gonna go into this and um, go into the edit. Okay, notice it's old, so we want to um, Update it. So I'm in the uh, quiz administration. Notice everything in Moodle is administration. In the under settings. Okay, so I'm going to go into edit. Here we are. And make the changes. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to disable all these dates, and you got to put the right dates. I don't have them right now. Have to look them up. Okay, the exact dates when the quiz will open and close. And then I'm going into grade category for myself. This helps me. Assignments for students with exemption. Okay, everything else I'm going to leave. And then I'm going to scroll down to the grouping. Okay, so go down until you get to the group mode. Okay, this is the common module settings for the groups. So first of all, I'm going to have a group, so I'm going to, it's going to be separate. And then notice here for the grouping, it's got the second semester, so I'm going to update that by opening it up and going into the second semester, into semester A, exemption students, tour for semester A. Okay, that's the best one there, and I think it makes sense. We don't have 2014, but that'll be fine. I'm going to keep it in its hidden mode, but notice here, available for group members only. Okay, that's important, so that's already ticked. I'm going to just get rid of this um, 
allow from and add the new dates soon. And then, of course, uh, expected completed by. That's going to be a new date here as well. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go through this for all. And then, of course, don't forget to save. Otherwise, it's going to stay the same. Okay, there it is. Okay, now it's uh, it's ready. I'm going to go into uh, the next one in the high flyers and do the same thing. So, okay, notice what it looks like now. It's still hidden, of course, because that's the way it's supposed to be. But again, notice here, in order to go into the settings, you go into this area, and you're going to change all of these just like I am. And that's it. So if you have any questions, ask. <laughs> Thanks. Hope this has been of help. And by the way, you don't have to do all this work. You can simply go into the cart and just take what I had done. Just grab it. And if you like, you can add the dates and then I can grab it back from you. So uh, the sharing cart's amazing. Thank you, everyone.